Welcome to episode 302 of the RPMN LP Exhibitions, and the last guy we have to play needs no introduction. You saw him in just about every episode, kicking my sorry ass. On that note, we now play as Hakumin. And it's going to be really ironic to actually lose to win with him, considering how slow he really is. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, talk to me. Huh? Hey, say something. I can't do anything unless you start talking to me. Who the devil are you? So you're Hakuman, huh? I'm gonna retrieve you now, but there's a limit to how much I can interfere from this side. So I'm gonna need your help. I'll ask again. Who are you? Really wanna know, huh? All right. My name is Kokonoe. I'm just an ordinary scientist. I can't really answer any complicated questions. This is just a backup. Backup? I suppose that makes you an owner of the Edge. You call this the Edge? Huh. Well, it doesn't matter to me. I'm trying to retrieve you, but I've run into a little trouble with the reconstitution algorithm. One of my assistants is on his way there, but... It's not very stable in that area. I don't think he'll be able to get to you. So, as much as I didn't want to, I decided to distort your causal pathways a bit. Causal distortion? Are you a witch? I told you I'm a scientist. Let's just get this show on the road, all right? Hmm. This sensation. I remember it well. It feels like... Nine. Uh, Are you her descendant? This isn't really any of your damn business. <laughs> so I see. My guess has not missed its mark. Your disruption of the Edge only proves the truth of it. You are the daughter of Nine and the Cat. Huh. You were born a true masterpiece, Grimalkin. A mixing of the rare witch blood and mighty cat heritage. As much as I want to push you right back into the boundary now, I can't let half a year's worth of efforts go to waste either. Are you ready? Very well. I will see what I can do if you can provide me with an arrival location on the other side. I will return in my own way. Sounds great. Don't hold it against me if this doesn't turn out well. We won't be able to talk for a while. Any last words? Surely you jest. What could I have to say to a demon? Fine. Let's get started. Good luck. Oh, you'll hear the name Nine again, several games later down the line. So, this is the place. Is this a remnant of my memory? Or... Hey you! Mask man right there! Do you know anything about Ragna? Uh. I await your challenge, child of the cat. Oh? You'll play with me now? You're a good person, Masked Man! Alright, now it's time for a showdown with Taukaka, and I think it's already been established that she's stupid as hell. But the fact that she's challenging Hakuman? Yeah, that is the really stupid. Is turning. Whatever the case, ladies and gentlemen. Rebel. One. If you probably have not already guessed, Hakuman has a different heat gauge from anybody else in the game. For Hakuman, his uh, Magatamas has to be full in order for him to use his actual heat, let alone even use his moves 
or in the best case scenario, use his distortion drive. However, this is gonna be very short because Hakuman is also strong the more Makatamas you receive. Ew. I can't go on anymore. Ew. Ah, yes. The very first one. The original Grimalkin. Whoa, whoa. Grimalkin? That ain't very nice. Perhaps you prefer Malkin? Now you just dropped the first part. Besides, who the hell calls a cat Malkin these days? I have so few visitors. Let me spell it out, nice and easy like. I ain't no illusion, friend. I'm as much right here in this room as you are. What? Snuck in here to have a little look-see. Happened on your little hidey hole, then I happened on you. Is that so? I reckon it's Kokonoe who's trying to pull you out of here. And if she does, I'd be much obliged if you don't tell about me. I got my reasons. Then you have my word. But what has brought you here? What news do you bring of the outside world? Terami's back. What? It can't be! It's impossible! All the same, he's on the move, so you be careful. Can't say much else just now. Been 90 years since we saw each other. I got a mite to say to you, but there ain't time. Kokonoe will be on me any minute now, so I best be on my way. Good luck, friend. I thought ten years had passed at the most. But if Terami has returned, I was sure the seal. Could it be that Takamagahara has been activated once again? If you probably haven't guessed, this is the second time Terami's name has been mentioned. Then this place as well. I take it that you're one of the six heroes, Master Hakuman. Indeed. My name is Bang Shishigami. I'm here to ask for a fair match and your guidance. Why would you wish to do that? It's all in the name of justice. Justice, eh? Tell me, boy, what is this justice of yours? I don't expect to save the entire universe. But at the very least, I want to save those I see suffering before me. That is my justice. You have a strong spirit, and you know your limitations. Very well. I am in your debt. I will show you my justice. To retrieve everything I've lost in Ikaruga. Retrieve, eh? Hmm. You've not changed at all. Very well, then. Let us begin, Bang Shishigami! Oh! You know the ironic part is, despite having so much respect for Hakuman, Jin Kisaragi, the guy who subjugated Ikaruga in the first place and gave Bang the scar on his eye, is the guy standing before him right now. Yeah, I am not kidding, in case you probably haven't missed the playthrough with Jin, Hakuman is in fact Jin, although a different version of Jin, who underwent being transformed into a Susanoo unit in the Boundary. So with that said, he got a sword 
bigger than what he already has. So with that said, uh, Bang Shishigami is probably going to be the only person that may give you some trouble because he has counter holds too. Ironically enough, I can't believe I could actually jump past that uh, attack that Bang normally does. And the funny part is, uh, Hakuman also has a counter for a distortion drive. So this is the power of the six heroes. Your will is strong. I acknowledge your spirit. I see. An intriguing development. You. Why have you come here? You don't suspect I am an illusion. I know you too well. You would not stoop to an illusion. Not that I would be able to see such ledger domain. I was unaware you had such hatred for me. I'm only here to see what was occupying your time, since you had yet to appear. Hmm. Why are you truly here, demon? There's something interesting going on with that doll. I found her chasing rainbows near the boundary, just like you. Doll? You mean Murakumo? I'm here to wake her up. But I thought perhaps I could play with you a little while I was in the area. That creation is a repository of crimes humans have committed. A blade meant to cut God. That sword must be destroyed. I shall destroy it. I must. I will destroy even you should you stand in my way. Such violence. Very well. Do as you please. Until we meet again, hero. <laughs> We're about to hit a crossroads in the path in just a few moments. Again? Where am I now? What? Hmm. So you're one of the six heroes, Hakuman? And you, the Red Devil? You know me? Or perhaps you are merely Kokonoa's assistant. Indeed. Ugh. This, then, is the miracle of the Devil. I'm Tager, from Sector 7. Kokonoa sent me to retrieve you, but how that will be done is your call. Very well. Then the eye shall bear witness to my power. <laughs> Kokonoi. So this is why you didn't give me the details. Nonetheless, I must thank you for giving me this opportunity to take down one of the six heroes. Haha! <laughs> I'm not gonna hold back, Hakuman! <laughs> we may begin when you desire, Red Devil. Well, turns out Tager is in fact that crossroad. And ironically enough, he's going to be one less person I'll be doing a lose to win to. Not like I didn't give an effort of trying, but here's the thing. Doesn't matter if I win or lose against Tager, it's gonna lead to a path. More importantly, there is, in actuality, only four fights in the good path, no, the true path, sorry, and five fights in the normal path. So, if you don't want to fight more paths, just fight more fights. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Just simply lose to them. Yeah, I'm trying, by the way, to activate Judgment so I can kick his ass, but unfortunately, that's not the case. <clears throat> Even more so, now that I've got all my Magatamas, come on! Let me see if I can use my Ashley <coughs> and catch him when he's about to attack me. Don't look like I can because he's... Oh wait, now it activates! 
and he just stands there and does nothing. God damn it! You know what? I'll just take the hit. Screw it. I'm not gonna go to the bad to the game over anyway. Uh, I knew there was much missing, but this. That's all you got? For one of the six heroes? I should like another opportunity to prove myself, but I do not think I will be granted one. What is it? What's happening? Where will I find myself this time? Shall I return to the edge again? Or perhaps to the depths of the boundary? Huh. Off to the true ending we go! What an unusual guest. Aren't you a little early for tea? You! I must say, your performance was rather lacking. Do you miss being a hero that much? <clears throat> You've been in the boundary too long. Your will has begun to seep away. I don't know how you've managed to sustain your body in such good condition. I must admit, I'm impressed. Empty flattery does not suit you, nor will it serve your purpose. If you have the energy to act tough, perhaps there is hope for you yet. Stand before me, hero. Like you once did. Blade of Justice. Summon. Yuki. Sa. Ra. Brother. Beast. Oh dear. It would appear your memory has been damaged. Are you quite alright? <sighs> you are behaving rather nicely. Very well. Keep it up and I shall reward you with a treat. And perhaps a delicious cup of tea as well. With blade in hand shall I reap the sins of this world and cleanse it in the fires of destruction. Such has been my fate since the day of my birth. I am Hakuman. The end has come. Now we've got ourselves a true final battle, as Hakuman will be facing Unlimited Rachel, just like New did before. However, the this time, um, Unlimited Rachel is... Actually, no, there's nothing different with Unlimited Rachel. The only thing that's different is the fact that Hakuman no longer has the strength advantage, because Unlimited Rachel is free to use all of her moves without any recourse, and not to mention she has more moves to work with. And they're a lot faster to pull off. I'm not sure if unlimited characters have came back after the very first Blaze Blue, but one thing is perfectly clear. Oh wait, no, actually unlimited characters do come back in Continuum Shift. I don't know if they came back in um, Central Faction or if they came back in Chrono Phantasma for Calamity Trigger and uh, Continuum of Shift, they definitely did. However, I'm not gonna sit here and let myself be taken out. Not just yet. Hmm. You've done quite well. A promise is a promise. Here is your reward. A reprieve. That should stitch you back together, for a while at any rate. I am in your debt, creature of the night. You owe me nothing. You've earned it. Then we shall meet again. What on earth was so urgent? He didn't even drink his tea. I have arrived. Concentration is nearly 
This should be sufficient. The time is at hand. It will begin soon, and that beginning will herald the end. I am Hockelman! The end has come! And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the true ending of Hakuman. And plus, that unlocked the true ending of the game. I could just go there if I wanted to, but we have a lose to win in the second path to show off with Hakuman. And then we go to the true ending, which all we have to do in the true ending is just simply win. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish off Hakuman get his lose the wins and get the second half of Hakuman's story in the next part. This is RVMan985. See you guys next time as we are coming close to the end of Calamity Trigger and close to saving Ragna. Free my homie Ragna.